Let's start in Somalia. Security forces say at least nine people have been killed after a car bomb attack in the capital, Mogadishu. An attacker detonated a car full of explosive outside a crowded cafe. The attack happened on Sunday night. As well as those killed, many others suffered horrific injuries. Now, Top Coffee is a popular bar near the presidential palace, and it was full of young people watching the Euro 2024 final at that time. The emergency services worked overnight to retrieve bodies from the partially collapsed building. The state news agency blamed the attack on the Al-Shabaab. Witnesses described scenes of panic and chaos after the blast, and images posted online showed a huge fireball and plumes of smoke billowing into the sky. The Al-Shabaab has been waging an insurgency against Somalia's federal government for more than 17 years. The Islamist group has carried out numerous bombings in Mogadishu before. However, there had been a relative lull in attacks in recent months. Daniel Dadzi has more. Crowds gather at the site of what used to be a coffee shop in Mogadishu. The building has now been reduced to rubble. Amongst the debris are belongings of the soccer fans who were here to watch a football game. The bomb was detonated a few minutes after 10 p.m. local time. Most of the casualties were among those who were outside. There was extensive damage to vehicles and properties. Locals say the neighborhood which was attacked is well guarded as it is near the presidential palace. Police, who arrived at the scene minutes after the attack, pulled several bodies from the debris, including drivers going past the coffee shop at the time. Witnesses described scenes of panic and chaos after the blast, with people scrambling for safety. I left here the cafe at 10 p.m. local time. After the blast, five of my friends were killed. In a broadcast on an affiliated radio station, the Al-Shabaab said the bombing targeted a place where security and government workers meet at night. The group, which once ruled much of Somalia, has been at war with the federal government for more than 17 years. Their aim is to impose a strict interpretation of Islam on the country. But no attack had occurred for months. Sunday's bombing came hours after five prisoners were killed in a shootout with guards during an attempted jailbreak. The deceased prisoners are said to be Al-Shabaab fighters serving time in Mogadishu's main prison. Madeira. President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud has declared war on the jihadists and local clan militias have joined in the fight against the insurgency. But victims are still left wondering when attacks like this will come to an end. Daniel Dazi, BBC News. Omar Mahmoud is a Horn of Africa senior analyst with the International Crisis Group. He gave me his assessment of the attack. Unfortunately, this is not the first time Al Shabaab has conducted this kind of attack. Uh, they, they regularly engage in soft targets, uh, especially in the capital Mogadishu, so restaurants, hotels, other sorts of um, similar, similar buildings. So it, it, it's unfortunately been a regular pattern. So what do they hope to achieve with uh, such targets? It's not the first time they've carried out several of these particular attacks, but what do they hope to achieve? The first is to sow a bit of panic you know, basically to show that Al-Shabaab can strike within government-controlled areas and, and basically delegitimize the government's argument that it's providing security in areas under its control. Mm -hmm. and, and so I think that's uh, uh, something symbolic at, at some level, but then also has a resonance within the population. And that's what Al-Shabaab is trying to achieve. There's also an element of, of targeting, usually at, at places like this in, in, in Mogadishu, you, you tend to get um, sometimes government officials or others. And, and what Al-Shabaab's done in the past is basically target these areas and warn the rest of the population to stay away. And so I think they're trying to drive a wedge between the, the government and the regular population as well. The Somalia government is conducting a high-profile offensive against the Al-Shabaab while they're also carrying out such attacks in the capital, Mogadishu. So how is that going? Well, the offensive has largely been on pause most of this year. Uh, there's been very small 
uh, operations in, in a little bit in, in, in Jubaland or in Huron as well, but for the most part, the large scale operations that we were seeing at the end of 2022 and into early 2023 uh, have been on pause in, in, in 2024. And, and the government's trying to get back to resuming those operations. Um, and, and there's always kind of a, an expectation that that's going to happen in, in the near future, but we haven't seen it yet. Uh, in, in part, the government's uh, struggling, I think, uh, in, in terms of organizing the, the armed forces, the logistic elements of that, uh, aligning at, at the local level, and, and also some external support. There was also an attempted jailbreak on Saturday in Mogadishu by members of the Al-Shabaab. Are you witnessing an increase in attacks by the Al-Shabaab in Somalia? Well, I think there's always an ebb and flow to these incidents. You know, we'll, we'll see a couple, you know, high profile incidents in a row and, and, and then a period of calm. You know, I think we should remember Al Shabaab's uh, an asymmetric actor, an opportunistic actor. And, and so when they when they have the opportunity or when they see openings, they, they conduct these types of, of violence. But but just because we see a spike doesn't mean that, you know, we won't see a fall after that. And, and so I think there's a natural ebb and flow. Um, and that's been part of the pattern uh, with, within this war, really, that's been going on for, for more than a decade. And so I, I'd expect to continue to see that. You know, we'll see some spikes here and there, a couple incidents in a row in Mogadishu, and then, then maybe a period of calm, and then, you know, another series of spikes.